Hello everyone, my name is Joseph Barrow. I'm the superintendent of schools here in Fayette County and uh, I felt like it was really important for me to be able to speak directly to all of the seniors in the Fayette County School District. Um, I want to address you like the young adults I think you are and with all candor and all transparency uh, I, I feel like I'm I'm going to just be straight up with you. I'm not going to sugarcoat this message, uh, but I do hope to say some things that will be positive and, and give you reason uh, to hope as we move forward over the next couple of weeks um, and the next uh, two months, actually, through the end of May. Um, I commonly use this expression in my conversations with the leadership groups I work with, but where you stand on issues really depends upon where you sit. I think you probably can get your head wrapped around that. There's no doubt, I understand that some of you, after you hear this message, you, you may disagree, you may be critical of some of the decisions that we've had to make as a system. And there will be some of you that feel pretty positive about the decisions that we're making going forward. As a, su a superintendent of, of Fayette County Schools, though, I, I, um, I really wanted you to be aware of where I am. I wanted you to understand my heart and my head uh, in working to lead our school district through this unprecedented time. I will say this, as a class of two, 2020, you're very special to us. Uh, over the last six years, I've actually attended every graduation ceremony at every one of our schools, uh, Fayette County High School, McIntosh High School, Open Campus High School, Sandy Creek, Stars Mill, and Whitewater. And each of uh, those ceremonies was a joyful, joyful celebration uh, of this major accomplishment. And while there certainly have been individuals who have stood beside you, behind you, encouraged you, and supported those graduates, this special time um, is something unique to the sacrifices and the energy and the effort only those graduates can make, and so it is with you as well, uh, the individual members of the class of 2020. Many of you have been approaching graduation from a lot of different perspectives. Uh, some can't wait to cross that finish line and get their diploma, have their ticket punched so they can move on to the rest of their life, and then there's some of you that have come to the realization that the K-12 experience is coming to an end and you may be a little nervous or a little bit apprehensive about this uh, transition point in your life. It may be even be a little bit scary um, and you might not feel like you're really ready to move on. We have that huge contingency out here. Folks that can't wait to get away, some that don't want, and then everything in between. So I don't know where you are individually as a graduating senior, uh, but I do know there's a whole continuum out there. and. For those of you that don't really know me that well, uh, I would want you to know that uh, prior to becoming a superintendent, I actually was a high school principal for 11 years. Um, and I know uh, how important uh, graduation is. And I, I think you probably would be hard pressed to find somebody that really uh, understood the importance of graduation maybe more than I do. I think short of figuring out your own personal faith commitment or getting married or graduating from college or having your first child or uh, any of those major milestones, your high school graduation is maybe the first and, and most significant life milestone that you've encountered to date. I know how important graduation is to you. Another expression that I use uh, in general conversation is life is what happens when you're making plans. And while we were thinking about and planning for the end of school and, and things like graduation and other year-end activities, um, something unprecedented happened to us and uh, it's called the COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic. Um, and it just literally dropped in our laps, yours, mine, everybody in the world. Uh, everything has changed in what we call our normal rhythm of life, and we understand that. And uh, 
I have great appreciation for that. As we head into the final months and weeks of the 2019-2020 school year, I fully understand the importance of uh, your graduation and I can share with you we're developing multiple contingency plans as even as I speak right now. As noted before, the international, national, state and local circumstances are changing incredibly fast and unfortunately I will I'll, candid I don't have all the answers to every every question I'm not even sure I have all the right questions to ask at this point but there are some concrete points I want to share with you based on what I know today first I really want you to know I think it's terribly unfair that after going through kindergarten all the way through this senior year um, that many of your year-end activities have been disrupted I think it's terribly unfair. The issue of being able to participate uh, in prom, the issue of going through your honors night celebrations, the issue of going through your athletic seasons in the spring, uh, the issue of fine arts performances where you're doing culminating activities, uh, and possibly even your own graduation ceremony being disrupted. I suspect some significant adult in your life at some point in time has told you at some point life is not fair. I'm not going to say that today but I will tell you I totally agree with you these circumstances are not fair. I wish we were not in these circumstances. Please know that your health and well-being and the health and well-being of your family and our school family is of paramount importance to me and that we will continue to follow the best medical advice we can secure in, uh, with regard to our school district and, and community, uh, we're going to make safe decisions moving forward. Uh, please know that uh, if it were in my power to wave a magic wand uh, and make things better for you and your fellow classmates, I would do so without hesitation. Please know you have my personal and professional commitment uh, that we will do everything reasonably in our power uh, to protect the opportunities that you normally enjoy during your senior year. Uh, your principals and the district office leadership are working on these contingency plans for all future events, uh, including I do want to I do want to share a couple of clo uh, quotes with you that I find relevant to our lives in this time of disruption. The first one's by uh, Dr. Stephen Covey and he said I'm not a product of my circumstances I am a product of my decisions and while we can't control these circumstances completely we can decide how we respond to them and the decisions that we make and then last but not least uh, this is by Dr. Charles Swindle and he says life is 10% of what happens to me and 90% of how I react to it uh, so it's a, it's a situation where I know uh, that these are not pleasant circumstances and it is disappointing. But how we deal with that as young people, as young adults moving forward, really will determine the, the chart and the path of the rest of our life. So I want to encourage you to continue to look at the glass half full uh, rather than half empty and talk about the things I didn't get to do and focus on the things that are in front of you that you will be able to do. Please know that the leadership of this district and I will do everything in our power to save and retain everything we reasonably can in what we've traditionally called normal end of school functions and ultimately through your graduation. I want to thank you for your time uh, as you've watched this video clip today uh, and please continue your commitment to do your best as we move forward throughout the remainder of this school year. Thank you and take care.